Well, we now have the news that we've been expecting, I suppose, for some time about what's going to be happening with the post offices in both Douglas and in Ramsey. With me is the head of the post office, Mr. Kajim. Um, it's a sort of half and half, isn't it? I mean, you, you've given in to the people of Ramsey who want to keep it, whereas in Douglas, no one seemed to mutter a, 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 hardly a, a word about it. So I changed. I, I changed. We, we haven't given in. We, have, we had a, a business case put to us from the Ramsey Postal Cooperative. And in principle, we have uh, agreed to appoint um, Man in Retail for Douglas and Ramsey Postal Cooperative uh, for the Ramsey. Yeah, but the, initially, no one knew anything about it, so they didn't have a chance to put no, that case it forward. It was the most well-kept secret, possibly, for some time in, in yeah. events going in the Isle of Man. D again, do you regret the way you handled this? Well, the situation was that, um, as we've said before, you know, we approached the Chief Minister and the Treasury Minister to advise them what the post office was um, looking to do was to change the uh, Crown Post Offices. They advised us that uh, for, the, for the sake of staff, they thought that they wanted a defined outcome rather than months and months of indecision and worrying about the posts. Uh, we then went out to um, a selected tender and we went through that process. Uh, then it was agreed by Council of Ministers uh, and we went forward. Uh, we've then subsequently had the uh, House of Keys uh, motion to say that you know, we should have a three-month delay to see whether there should be any alternatives, and we've followed that. Um, and we've had a business case put to us from the Ramsey Postal Cooperative, which we, you know, we are still achieving the savings that um, we, we set out for. You tried to save months and months of indecision, yet you created months and months of indecision. We didn't. We initially wanted to go out for open expressions of tender. You know, we consulted with the Chief Minister and we were put in a situation, how do you um, get a definitive outcome without having all those months off upset for the staff? And we went through that and then, we had, yes, we've ended it in a, in a very awkward situation, but I don't think it's off the post office's making, but we are now hopefully in a position where we can move forward. Were you surprised with the reaction? I mean, I'm talking about Ramsey now, that meeting that you attended where it seemed a great deal of uh, people who obviously use the post office up there decided they were going to turn out on a very dark, cold night yeah. to voice their opinions and express their concerns. Uh, and what we'd done is we'd actually consulted with the members for Ramsey about these proposals and it was in that situation that we thought that um, there was no real uh, warning signs that they, they thought that we were doing something too radical. And you know, it's nice to know that there's that sort of loyalty towards the postal services in Ramsey and I, I now hope that um, going forward that uh, with that loyalty that they've shown towards the post office and the support they'll give them into the future. Is this really people power that's worked here? Because uh, back to Douglas, where there's been no particularly strong campaign, being I suppose it's uh, bigger and, and there's no sort of centre to the to maybe Douglas like Ramsey. I mean, they, they view it in Ramsey very much as their yeah. sort of meeting place almost. It's more than just a yeah. post office. I got that impression many times. Uh, so, are, are you just you know deciding to this in Douglas because you haven't? looked elsewhere now? No, no, the, 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 um, we went out and with the, the post office and the, the local authorities, they were, Douglas was given the same opportunity as Ramsey and there was no submission from Douglas at all. What about man, man and retail here? Because I mean you had a deal in place and now they've only got 50% of the deal. Yes, and you know, we will be working uh, our way forward with them. They do have a number of uh, sub post offices that they work with us already and you know we hope that we can still have that you know, positive relationship, as with all our sub-post offices going forward, that we can actually try and see how we can keep the, the sub-post offices in the rural communities. Now, you've got a, a fair amount of the staff in Ramsey are already agreeing to transfer, is that correct, over to this new operation, yeah. but not everyone yet. Is yeah. that their choice or it's just the amount of positions available? Well, we've actually had uh, <clears throat> we've actually had a number of um, redeployment opportunities um, and nine of our staff have applied and been successful in uh, getting redeployment and they've conditionally accepted redeployment. And can you tell us about the conditions and terms? 
Well, um, no, they'll be redeployed within the post office. So we've got a number of vacancies in the post office, okay. which our staff have applied for, which any of our staff can apply for when there's redeployment. I'm thinking about people moving over to this new operation, both in Douglas and, and well, Ramsey. Well, that, that, the same with Ramsey Postal Cooperative. That's between the Ramsey Postal Cooperative and their staff, because there is uh, at least two of the staff who have been involved in the Ramsey Postal Cooperative's bid. So, so that's uh, a decision that they've, they've gone forward with. What else... Can you tell us about this arrangement? Because obviously that was your building in Ramsey. No, it wasn't. It was Department of Home Affairs. Okay, I meant government, should I say yeah. then. Government owned that building. Yes. What's gone on behind the scenes there to make this more palatable? Because you, at the end of the day, we're going to vacate those premises and, and, and move it into a spa store. Yes, well, um, Ramsey Postal Cooperative are in discussions with the Department of Home Affairs about um, taking over the lease on the building. So this really has come down to, it's more about the building in Ramsey, isn't it? The place and, yeah. and, and this sort of community feel for it. Yeah, and, and you know, they, they've come forward with a proposal which will include some additional services. Um, and you know, when, when you look at the, the business people involved in, in their proposal, you know, I think they, they've got a, a very good chance of success there. It presumably has to make a profit, or are you still giving it some sort of subsidy somewhere? It will be worked on a transitional basis, a, a, a transaction basis. So, so they get payment like all our other sub post offices. There's a trans, transaction uh, payment for everything that they do. But otherwise, they have to stand on their own two feet. Do they? Yes. And you just put stamps up, and Leonard Singer, who was on your board, had this idea that maybe that's the way forward. Anyway, has that played any part in this? You, you not using no. any. No, price increases to... No, un unfortunately, what, what's happened is on, on the stamps that um, the, the, the cost of uh, the stamps being delivered in the UK, Royal Mail have put their prices up to us. So it's, a, it's an additional cost to us, and they've actually increased the cost of the plane that actually takes it over there. So these are just additional costs that have been put onto the post office separate to the, the conversions of the post office. Douglas Post Office then will be no more, the main central post office there in town. No, what, no, no, it will be. Well, it, it will just be around the corner. Oh, well, I, was, I was talking about the physicality of the building, actually, to be honest. That, that will be no, then no more the building. Uh, to you, what, what happens to it? Do you own that, for instance? Yes, we own, we own that building. Will you be selling it or giving it into government pot? Well, what we'll be doing is we'll be working, say, with uh, Douglas Development Partnership because there's, a, there's all that, the plans for, for the central Douglas regeneration. And, and we'll be working with them and hopefully we can... Uh, come to some sort of agreement where we have a, a good tenant going in there to, to redevelop it. When will it all this transfers be happening? Well, we've, we've got a few more weeks and months to, to, to come forward with the finalising of uh, these agreements. Um, so as soon as that's done, then there'll be a further announcement about when the, the actual changes will take place. Are you going to assure customers that they will not be queuing outside the door of the spa in Douglas at peak times, I'm thinking of Christmas, that sort of thing, or barging around people who are trying to buy some sweets or, or cigarettes. These are all parts of things that we're, we're, we're in discussions with about the layout. These are all parts that we have to, to, to move Because there was, is still concerned, although Douglas there is. has gone through. That at some, I mean, I've been in that post office in Douglas and you can't move sometimes. Yes. It doesn't seem like a particularly busy day for, or pension day or anything. It's just busy. Maybe it's lunchtime or whatever. Yeah. There are peak times. And are you assuring people that you or they will be able to cope as you pass it over? What we have is that we will be monitoring. We've got an agreement about a staffing level, so we've got that agreement in place. And what we'll be doing is we'll actually be monitoring to see how the, the, the services are actually um, put over. So, so it's not just going to be, yes, here you go, run it, and we're not going to bother anymore. Hmm. We'll be trying to ensure that the services are there, that we don't want people queuing outside the door okay. because it's not good for our business. So, What's the difference in size? Um, I mean, of the post office and there's a new spa and the full post office as is? The operating size is exactly the same, I understand. It's, it, it's, it's not far off what we've got already. But you do have to go through the first part to get to the back bit. The, the, the uh, computer animations showed that yeah. they were placing it at the back, which is obviously a retail thing because you have to go past all the other product. I mean, I, yeah. I don't know that's how a lot of shops work, but would you not prefer to have seen it at the front? Or was, do you have any input into that, well, for instance? Well, we, we still have to finalise the, the, the final layout on that. There's the, when we had the walkthrough, there's the, like you saw, there was a, a stand in a certain place. Well, that might get moved back. We, the, the, the final layout hasn't been totally uh, agreed yet. Were you surprised at the end of the day how this all turned out? Um, all the way through, I'd hoped that, you know, before it actually uh, went off to council and ministers, we had been hoping that we'd have a staff involvement in this. And um, 
you know, uh, they've shown that sort of loyalty and, and they're very keen to do it. And, you know, I hope that, that both areas will be very successful.